I apologize for the noise in the background. It's currently March 22nd, almost 5 p.m., waiting for the president to start his news conference, so I can hear just how screwed we are. Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. This is part three, which should be, actually, part three or part four? Part four. This should be the last part. We should have everything up and running today. In part one, we populated the circuit board. In part two, we wired up the power transformer. And now in part, whatever part we're on, we're going to wire up the output transformer. And uh, we'll get this thing going. Cool. So things are scary here today. The Ohio governor issued a stay-at-home order. And, uh, like I said, now I'm waiting for President Cheeto to have his press conference, and we'll see what's happening there. Okay. Red goes to W8, which is right there. Let's see if we can zoom in here for you. There's W8. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to trim these wires to length. I am, however, going to trim this because I don't want it to poke through the other side of the board and short to anything. Would be bad. <laughs> Second, I turned around to look at the television, the wire jumped out. One of my biggest fears right now, other than catching the virus. is that we lose internet. I'm afraid we're going to overload it. What do you guys think of that? The blue goes to W9, which is right there. Trying to do this so that I don't burn anything and I don't block your view. It can be a little tricky. Okay, what's next? Okay, next we wire up the output jack. And I just want to make sure which one of these is the tip connector which one is the sleeve so this is the tip over here which I'm going to mark the sleeve connector in black so I know what I'm doing get the meter out of the way all right the black goes to the sleeve. Just making a hook on the wire there. We'll crimp it. We'll try and crimp it. There we go. Solder up. Nice, generous helping the solder there. Looks good. And the green 
along with this yellow wire go to the tip. Again, I'm just going to, uh, come on. Go form a little hook there. Along with our yellow wire. Give our iron a nice clean tin it and solder them guys on. So, where does the brown one go? So, these guys, the yellow and the brown, are used for a different impedance. Speaker. Cut them short and we will shrink wrap them. So that they are safely out of the way. I don't feel like digging out the heat gun at the moment, so do it like this. Same for the yellow fella. So, I believe that is it for our connections. I'm going to do a quick double check, and when I come back, we're going to plug it in and start some testing. All right, several hours later, after watching the president's latest press conference, we're back. Everything is in place, and now... We need to test it before we put in the tubes to see if there's any voltages, whether AC or DC, on the chassis. Because, you know, that shit could kill you. So, move that over here. And we are going to start with AC voltage. So we shall plug her in. All right, it's plugged in. I am not going to touch it. We have some helpers here to help us turn it on. Okay, our indicator light is lit. I'm just waiting a second to see if there's any signs of smoke or anything from anywhere I don't see anything so now I'm going to take the probe leads and I'm going to put one in the ground lead of the electrical outlet and the other one here into the chassis we're looking like we have maybe a millivolt or less nothing to worry about there you see there's no frequency so we're not picking up any Hertz and no DC on the chassis so good and that means 
that it's safe to touch. Excellent. So next we put our tubes in. I'm going to unplug it. And I just want to make sure yeah, that I labeled them properly. So up first is seriously okay el 84 that must be their 12x a7 labeling ecc 83s that's strange now i don't know much about tubes so that may very well be uh another brand of 12 AX7. I'm going to look it up. Okay, so it is a 12 AX7 type tube. And then we're going to put in our EL84, which is our output power tube. That, of course, is our uh, dual preamp. Now we are going to run the same test again after we let it warm up for a few seconds. And we'll be looking for DC on the chassis. Okay, let's check for DC on the chassis. nothing so apparently we have done everything right up to this point all right next we're going to measure voltages on the pins we're going to start with the el84 and on pin 3 we should see about 3 volts And there's 3.3 volts. Next, pin 9 should be 161 volts. It's actually reading a little bit high. Pin 7, 178 volts. Yeah, that's reading a little bit high. That's somewhat concerning. Now let's check the 12XA7. Pin 8. Oops. We should read 1.1 volt. Good. Pin 3 should be 0.9 volts. Good. Pin 1. 114 volts, a little high, and pin 6, 126 volts, a little high. It says we have a 5% tolerance, so we're pretty close to the 5 volt tolerance. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so this is our back panel. This is where the chassis mounts. I have a center point on the chassis. That's a little dark, isn't it? There, that's better. So I said to bring this up to about a sixteenth of an inch. Line it up, square it up as best as I can.
That looks pretty good. Then I need to mark my holes. Hmm, I don't have a screwdriver far enough to get down through there. But I do have some of these skewers. I think if I put a little bit of paint on there, we can get right in. All right, so I got some paint. Nice red paint. Oh, I thought it was red. Apparently it's black. Oh, it's a wash. Hold on. Ooh. This time I have some nice red paint. Which we will put down the hole. And do that four more times, or three more times. Okay, did it work? Yes. So, I will drill those holes. And we'll mount it up. Alright, so here's the amp. All good and hooked up. Assembled in this case, I gotta put a speaker grill on it yet, and some labels. This is the tone control, this is the volume control. That's the power, that's Blake. That's my son who's been playing for about six weeks, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, boys, strum. Go ahead and play something. All right, that's enough. We don't want to get demonetized now. So there you have it. The Bud Tube Amp. As demonstrated by Blake. Say hi to the nice people, Blake. Hi. He says hi. He doesn't say much. No. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.